we need a world peace plan. And I have it. You know, it's funny when people say stuff like, first they got to stop tearing down the forest. Well, they're doing it because we keep asking for more stuff. So we can't keep eating and consuming and buying all these things we don't need. And then be like, eh, ah, chopping down the stuff that makes these things that I'm consuming. And what we do, and I'm not trying to find anybody, I just want to bring that to everyone's attention. So what we do is we stop all building and construction for now. We have reconstruction. We have things that we can use to fix things that are out there. There's plenty of supply centers that are loaded with stuff that we can use. And we only use the materials we need, and we use the resources to make those materials when we need them. And what we do is we turn all those magnificent buildings we have, like schools and hospitals and any government building like church or not government building, any religious building like a church, any government building like a courthouse, uh, independent living centers, prisons, hotels, all those kind of places. We get rid of those systems and we use those places as dwellings. We don't worry about money to live there. What we do is we worry about working together to keep them maintained. And when we need someone from the outside source to maintain them, we put someone who has those skills so they can use those skills to somebody else without charging them. It's people who want to help people in that way to keep that system going. So the schools and the churches, they can practice their own stuff in homes and they can have gatherings. They can use those those churches and those whatever still for other for gatherings, but they're saying things that they want to believe in and follow them. But when it comes to the consuming, the the charging money for residents, the charging money for anything, any any home, any church, any building should be available. And I guess the way that they have them uniformly constructed makes sense because if everybody wants a flashy, nice house, then that means more consumption. So there's things we got to give up, like flashy merchandise, and worry about things that we can do between action and motion and love and creation. Like we don't have to. We can use like things like the cameras and all the things we have. We can use video and we can use the screens and all the things we have. And when those things start going bad, yeah, we can use old ones to make new ones. We can come up with new ideas in the meantime to do things in a more environmentally safe and environmentally protected way. Like, we don't even have to worry about... I mean, everything that we would need to keep living is already there. So there was a reason for it. We had to get it up to this point. So now that we have to this point, we disband in a way. We disband all societies and then we rejoin together as individual people as one. We disband any kind of community organization that isn't inviting anybody else in. We're not we're not different countries, we're not different religious sects, we're not different political races, we're not anything like that anymore. Let's get rid of that. And then we're just living people who understand that we're here. We never got the chance when we were a child. No one said when you were born, you know, it's a free world. But when you're a child, you know, you're raised and nurtured for a few years. And then all of a sudden you're thrown into a system that programs you or, you know, you know, informs you to educate you on what? Educates you on what your nearby people said is, is what you should know. And from that point, we never had a chance to do anything. So we should go all the way back to the point when we were just nurtured in our families and let people discover what they want to do with their, their life and actually what they want to do. Not go to, after they go to school and do all these things that we require of them. We remove all requirements and we remove all separations. And it wouldn't be hard. During those times, we, we learn how to garden. We learn how to raise cattle and communicate with animals, communicate with plants learn how to do things like that, bless our food. We don't just senselessly slaughter stuff. We got to give up eating heavy meats and heavy meals. And the people say, hey, fuck that. Think about that attitude. Think about why we're not a better place. Is because people don't know how to say, well, I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway. That's what we need to learn to do. We need to get control of ourselves instead of being like, well, I've done it my whole life and I can't stop it now. Yeah, you can. You can. You just need help. And we all need help. I'm here to help every single person. I need them to come to me because if I try to force myself down their throats, then I get in trouble. The law don't like that, which we don't need a law anymore either. We need people to work together and help those people that have harmed and, and hurt because they were in a system that really, really screwed them up. And they never had a chance, so maybe they can be reformed. And if not, we might have to 
do what we have to do with those people, keep them around their families, and if they start keep doing things like that, we have to keep them under control somehow. We have to. But we can't just, maybe we'll get tranquilizer darts for loved ones. I don't, for, for that can administer when they need to. I don't know. But we'll have, and, and, and a healthy kind of tranquilizer. I don't know. Something that we can do to, to keep people out of all those institutional places and help them in a the right way. If they don't have to worry about going out and making money to support their family and food is provided and shelter is provided, they're not going to want to steal and hurt and harm. And, and over that period of time, they're going to forgive all those wrongs. And even their mind, the way they're thinking, will change. And they won't want to kill and harm and have money and be flashy to be like, look what I have. I proved myself. If we don't have to prove ourselves, then we are, we are already we're liberated. We're free if we don't have to prove ourselves anymore. Proof is the only sin. And proof, when people say that, they're like, oh, when I say that to people, they'll be like, that makes no sense. What happens? They're like, someone says, show me. And you show them, like in a personal sense, sure, show them. But if they don't believe you, don't be attached to if it's proved right or wrong. But when we say proof, we're talking like proof of purchase, proof of residence, proof of identification, proof of proof of proof of everything, whatever. You have an identification, you'll have your own identification because you name yourself. Your parents can name you until you get old enough and they say, hey, what would you like to be named? You know, and then you name yourself. Why not? You get called whatever you want to be called, not... Jack Johnson and says, I hate my name. I wish my name was something else. Everyone calls me JJ and I don't like it, but it grew on me. You know? Think about stuff like that. I mean, it's not difficult to really change the world. It's just we have to want something different. Even though people say they want something different, they do the same damn thing. Don't make any sense to me. Here's a new plan. The new world plan.